Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Factorio and our sending supporters to space map. And uh, the word seems to be, based on the comments, that I've, uh, I've made a couple mistakes, and I will fully admit it. I When I recorded the last two episodes, episode 21 and 22, I believe, um, I was really tired. I was, like, super exhausted, and I even said in the latest episode, um, sweet, uh, that... I, uh, that I was probably making some really bad mistakes and for you guys to point it out. And you did, which is awesome. So, you mentioned that I didn't get sulfuric acid on this one, which is a good point. So, that's fixed. We will need more of these, um, for sure. And then also, uh, a very important point that I do want to correct. And I do want to apologize. I know I usually, I know I apologize too much. But this one, this I really should apologize for because I may have misled some people, um, unintentionally. Um, in, in my calculations with the batteries here because um, I took into account the chemical plant speed but did not take into account the assembler speed so this is it gets a little bit tricky and uh, I I know this like like I know this somewhere in my mind I know this and I, and I should know this I just didn't think of it probably because I was super tired and, and all scattered and stuff but um, I'm trying to think how to explain it because it is a bit finicky in terms of when you need to calculate speeds or don't need to. If you're dealing with machines that are all the same speed, so in this case, pretty much all these assemblers and all the assemblers in the previous builds, we went off bait rate, uh, base rate, which I've already explained what that is. That's just um, essentially the base crafting, um, you know, crafting time of the item and assuming a crafting speed of one um, without ca counting the assembler speed or whatever because they're all the same. But when you introduce something with a different speed, like this chemical plant, you actually need to calculate then for both things. And that's what I forgot to do, is I did not calculate for the um, assemblers then at that point. So essentially, um, what, what that boils down to is I have too many batteries here. Because if we take the speed of these assemblers into account, which is 0.75 crafting speed, um, that means that we actually only need about 10 and a half batteries um, a second rather than 14 uh, and, and what we do how, how I came um, came to that number is I just took 14 the number of assemblers we have and I divided that by 0.75 and that equals um, 10 and a half so so yeah essentially we only need 10 and a half batteries a second instead of the 14 that I had calculated for I suppose um, and considering that these things make a battery every four seconds um, we, we need, it, it, it's actually, it's a little bit confusing. Um, actually 10 and a half batteries a second seems really high. I may have just messed up again, but the, the point remains that you need to take into account both crafting speeds and the, the, the end point is that I have too many of these. Um, I'm going to leave them because I think overkill is okay and they're really not that expensive. Um, and if I upgrade these machines anyway, I'll need to add more and I'd rather just have more to begin with and then it's less I have to add in the future, I suppose. Um, if we don't need them, they'll back up and they won't create. Um, I'm just trying to think here for a second because the, the calculation I just did didn't make sense in my head. <laughs> um, if we didn't take into account the speed, we would need one a second, not, not ten and a half a second. Um... I'm not really sure how I arrive. It, <laughs> I think I did that wrong. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm still a little bit out of it. Uh, I'll have to think about this for a second. Um, I'll think of it in the back of my mind. But anyway, while I do that, let's uh, let's get some robot frames going because we do need robots to get these things moving. So, like I mentioned last time, we're gonna set some up kind of by hand in a, in a, in a sense. So, uh, robot frames just take some circuits and steel and batteries and engines so what i'm gonna do is grab i suppose i could just grab them off this belt grab quite a few circuits here and i'm gonna grab some I need batteries I need steel and i need electric engine so grab some steel i think they only take a couple right yeah just one that's more than enough and some electric engines which are over this way um, I did that. Okay. I, uh, see, I was thinking in the back of my mind about the calculations, and I think I just realized what I did, I did wrong. 
So I, d I did it in reverse, um, is I need to take the speed and I need to divide it by the crafting speed of the assembler, which I, I already know how to calculate ratios, you know, I've, I've done it a bajillion times, I made a video on it. It's not that I don't know how to calculate ratios, it was trying to calculate them between each other um, that somehow tripped me up. You know, sometimes the weirdest things will mess you up. So we take 14, we divide it by 0.75, which means that we only need a battery because um, the number I get is 18.6 repeating essentially. Um, so, so what that means is we only need a battery every 18 and a half seconds, not, not 10 every second. So ignore that first part. Um, so we need a battery every like 18 and a half seconds. Now, if these take four seconds to create, then, but then we have to like multiply that by 14 because that's how many we have, which is where it gets a little bit wonky. <laughs> um, or, or I think we would divide that by 14. Okay, there we go. That seems closer. So we need a battery like every one and a third second is what I get. Uh, either way, this is still too many by, by a little bit. Um, so that's the point I was trying to make. Anyway, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if I like lost you. I lost myself a little bit in that one. So what we're going to do is we probably don't even need to grab batteries. We have quite a few on us. We're just going to set up an assembler or two because uh, these do take a little while. They take 20 seconds. Uh, where do I want to do this? Probably over by the make uh, the hardware store thing. So yeah, I'm going to set up just a couple assemblers and just feed them uh, manually for now. And just to get some frames because then we can make the robots and it will be, um, be pretty easy. So I always misplace these damn things. Okay, uh, luckily we are here. Seems so smart to uh, to do it right there, huh? Uh, okay, grab some of those, make a few chests, and uh, okay, so grab and export. And what we'll do is we will just make frames. Yeah, there we go. Make some frames. We will throw. Um, most of our circuits in there, we'll throw all our batteries in there, not the explosives, not making explosive frames. Um, and the engines. And we will power this thing on, and he should, um, should be good to go. So also, if, another thing is my trains are out of fuel, because I'm kind of dumb. Uh, someone said you can fuel these things from the map, which I'm a little skeptical on. We're going to try it. I need to get in view, but if we do this... Okay, so that way doesn't work. What do I do with this way? Yeah, I definitely can't fuel these from the map. I don't know. Sorry. Myth is busted. <laughs> uh, I didn't think you could fuel these from the map. Um, unless I'm like entirely missing some... I guess if you're next to it, you could. Yeah, no, not even. Still can't. You can here, but if you're next to it, you might as well just do it here. So... Yeah, I may be missing something, I don't know. I may be about to get run over too if I stand in front of it. <laughs> um, yeah, I really didn't think you could fuel them from the map, but gave the benefit of the doubt until I tested it. So I'm running over to get more fuel. We Or, or really, we need to fuel these, and I don't think I fueled my iron train either, so he's probably lost somewhere in space here. Um, yep, luckily it's close to the base, so that's good. Um... Red circuits are chugging along. We're going to need a whole nother one of those builds, most likely. And, um, right. Our science isn't moving because we don't have sulfuric acid or anything for the, uh, batteries. Oh, dear God. I don't have any iron either because my train ran out of fuel. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well. It's, this, uh, this is actually some, somewhat convenient, though, that this coal belt runs right here. Because now I can just take the splitted, split part, can't even talk, and we'll run it over here to fuel our iron train, and the copper train we should be able to pretty easily fuel from the uh, coal train in, in some manner. So let's go ahead and get you here, here, and then like here, uh, and here, maybe? Uh, I'm, I'm, well, we'll have to pull the train in because we have to go manually fetch it anyways, but... And normally, if you're 
depending on what you're doing, it may not be best to run a straight belt like this, but these things aren't gonna eat, you know, like an entire belt of fuel. So doing it this way rather than splitting isn't that bad of a, of a thing to do here. Um, now I only have a solid fuel. So I probably should have grabbed some fuel while I was there. Gee, that would have been, that would have been a good idea, don't you think? Uh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, he's gonna move one closer. Because I want to be able to uh, power my stuff. So we'll grab some coal off here. Luckily, that was pointed out and I noticed... Um, well, I didn't notice. You guys pointed it out. Luckily, pointed it out uh, before our iron completely dried up. And I'm not doing research, luckily. Otherwise, it would have just eaten through our iron and then we really would have been in trouble. Um, come on. So, fuel him. He's gonna chug off over to here. I just want to make sure this back inserter lines up. We'll head down and fuel the copper train and then we'll go grab the frames that have been made. And... Does it work? Is he fueling this? Um, he is. It's iffy at best, but... It'll be... It'll line up like this every time, so it's fine. Oh. Oh dear. Power. Power, please. At least enough to get him where he's going. That'd be great. Okay, so our iron is going to kick back on. Let's go do the copper in this thing. How many do we have? 15. It's complete crap. <laughs> oh, hey, this finally dried up. Sweet. So we can tear all this out. All three that were there. Tear out this power pull mess and uh, get rid of this funky spaghetti splitter craziness we have going on here. So, good joke. wrong direction. It's going to come like that. And there we go. So I'll mess with those a little later because it's going to be a bit just like monotonous, just tearing them up. So now we'll just head down to this guy, get him some fuel. In fact, this should be straightforward. Um, literally just do this. Is it elegant? Not really. Is it the best solution? Probably not. But does it work? You bet it does. Maybe. <laughs> Until it doesn't. Until I'm uh, just completely proved wrong here. So, of course, oh, see, now that's just a pain. I'm doing a splitter because these poles line up. I don't want to move them. And, uh, and I would have to, to do a belt. So yes, I am being that, <laughs> I am being that finicky with this. Okay, so he's going to fuel that. Um, is our copper train out of, you got to be kidding me, dude. Is my copper train really, really, <laughs> Uh, is he out of fuel over at the uh, copper outpost? Probably. Let's uh, let's find out. If we tell him to go. Oh no, he just takes forever. I wonder what's going on out there. I need a radar. Is, is what I need. Uh, now he is full. Now where's this train? I wonder. Cause these things are looking a little bit empty. So he's out there. All oh, right. I can't zoom in in the train view. What are you doing? Um, what's he doing? All these pretty much are still going. It's just, why are these like not, these should have buffered. They are buffered, I just need stack inserters is what I need. Uh, someone had mentioned actually, why did I not use stack inserters on the uh, iron or copper or, or whatever. And I said I didn't really need them and I don't at this point, but it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to start upgrading anyways and I'm now realizing that I'm just a complete doof <laughs> um, I could have just undergrounded this you know there are definitely still undergrounds in this game I don't I don't know why I'm not thinking of it because he can grab from a corner anyway so there we go doesn't it's not it's not great but it works and uh, yeah so he should go that's all good tear up these miners that are done and then we'll go grab the frames and actually since I'm in this vicinity anyway I might as well grab uh, grab some sulfuric acid barrels if we have any which we do we have a whole 19 and he's still making stuff for the thing except he's about to be out because I didn't put any iron in so six mine in there grab that grab some more batteries and uh, yeah, so we'll stick this in the research to kickstart it, maybe a barrel or two in the uh, blue circuits as well. And then I do want to research fusion reactor because that would help so much. And then after that, I'd like to research, um, 
Huh, never mind. Uh, I was going to say uranium um, ammo, but not until we get things moving a little bit better uh, because, well, there's no way. I mean, it's going to take forever to do a thousand. Um, so in terms of the copper cable as well, some people were talking about it in the comments um, that I might as well just do a one to one ratio if I'm going to do this many, because there's 13 assemblers and there's four, uh, 13 copper cable assemblers, rather, and 14 science pack assemblers, like, I might as well just do a one-to-one, -one, which is really a pretty good point. Um, and also, the reason it wasn't working, and I had thought of this before I read the comments, uh, but someone did point it out, which is nice, too, that um, the reason it wasn't really working is because I didn't actually have enough inserters going to it because I was using long-handed right, which are slower. Um, so we're going to make all of these into logistics robots. We also need some robo ports, which uh, I think I'll grab some gears before I do that. Um, yeah, so so this they, they didn't they didn't have enough long-handed on this end one was the issue. So to fix that, we're literally just going to uh, move these, and then we'll do the same down here. And this will probably work, you know. Like again, yeah, I might as well just do. Oh, wait, no, he does get... No, he... What? <laughs> uh, well, this is awkward. Um, well, that's just... Uh, that's, that's, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, so the next solution, which is now going into completely absurd territory, is to <laughs> do that. There you go. We'll just not look at it for now. I will probably off-camera just fix it and make it a one-to-one because -one it's just easier. Um... But, uh, but yeah, so what we need now is we just need some of those. And I'm going to turn that and do that. You need to be careful not to make uh, these token chests. I mean, they're not expensive, but, you know, depending how oblivious I am, it might take me a minute to realize uh, that it's not, not any there. Now, normally, I would put these in an active provider. You really don't have to, um, but... I find it is usually smart to put them in Act Rider um, to go to central storage, but I don't have a central storage, so that's why I'm not doing that. Um, so I just copy pasted from here to here. Uh, 10 is probably, I'm gonna go to like 20. And uh, yeah, so we, get, we, need some, uh, we need some stuff. We need some gears and we need some steel probably and then we have quite a few advanced circuits really it's just the gears and I, i'm not gonna make all those gears by hand uh but we need enough robot ports to reach for essentially from one side of the base to the other so we're gonna need quite a few of them like when i first place a robo port in a game um i i always seem to not remember the range of it because when i place it for the first time it seems really small like range and I don't know why, it just seems every time I do it, like, this logistics range just seems puny. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. So, also, um, the next thing we need to do is, actually, let me set this up first. We could do this on our, mm, we do a steel. I was going to say, yeah, we can do this here. Um, I was going to make some barrels, because we need barrels automated now. I really don't want to do it way down there, so, hmm... We pretty much need all this stuff, which is uh, which is a bit, bit of a bit of a pain. Could do it here. Of course, it's no steel, so this ought to this ought to be interesting. This will be a fun challenge. Um, we'll do that, <laughs> and uh, in the steel, we'll uh, we'll just you know do something absolutely horrible. Wow, one k processing units an hour. Nice. We we already got the five hundred one. Well, well. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, this is not gonna. This isn't. This is. This is not gonna turn out well. I should just run a belt um, over here. <laughs> I should really just run a belt over here. Uh, and we'll just do a splitter thing here. There we go. So, I mean, because at some point we're going to turn this into, like, robot-based production anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, run you to there. 
run you to there. Cut this, and really I don't think we'll need it on this side anymore. If we do, I can put in a, well, just put in a splitter now. It's good practice. Okay, so come over here. You, sir, are going to do that. And uh, not line up with all these others. Um, okay, so get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, so barrels. It's power pole. I really would have liked. Okay, no, he can line up. Sweet. He'll only line up one way. He won't line up with that one, but that's okay. So you go there, and then you go here. And that actually needs to be a passive provider. Oh, that's a robot. <laughs> um, and we will actually use a logistics condition, I think. Um, yeah, we could use a logistics condition, I think. We'll, we'll see how this works. Because we do have to take into account the empty barrels elsewhere in the network. But really, if they're empty barrels and they're in the network, it doesn't really matter where they are. Um, so we're going to say if empty barrels are less than 100, he can work. And apparently, it's just stop. Probably because there's no network here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our robo ports, and I'm going to. Yep, there we go. So you can see it started working. I'm, I placed it here because I'm trying to get. Uh, I don't actually really know why I placed it there. To be completely honest, because um, that's really not the best place to be putting it. Can I? Can this fit? This can't fit. I could run them down the main bus. I mean, that was really the plan, I suppose. Huh. Okay, well... Yeah. Let's, um... If I run this here, is he gonna reach? I'm seeing if he'll reach to our chemical plants. And just barely not. So we will have to put him here. So I go like that, and we'll power it up, somehow. So close. All right, power that up, and then we will run this guy. We need some down here too, so we're gonna have to put a row port somewhere else. Like that. Yeah, so this is why I like, uh, why it's good to kind of leave this four space in here, because it does let you run these straight down your bus without any issues. Yeah, we're going to need quite a few more, unfortunately. But really, they're not that bad in terms of price. I mean, they're a bit expensive, but... Um, I know this is not clean, but this allows me to connect these networks. Because this guy does need to be down here. Oh, hey, look at that. He actually works. So we don't even... We can salvage that one that we had down down there that I just pulled up and use it to run on the bus. Because that other one did reach. And... Actually, we won't need as many as I thought. Because we have one left. And then we only just need to go over to the oil production. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to grab a few more gears here. I'm going to grab some more steel... And we don't really have any advanced circuits left, but I will grab whatever I can. Probably going to need one more. Okay, there we go. So that gives us three total. And uh, hopefully that should reach if we're fairly strategic about it. At this point, it would be better, I think, to run diagonal. Maybe. Down here, maybe? Now the orange areas don't, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, the lines connect, so it should be fine. Uh, and then, I wanna be mad. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be upset. Yeah, we definitely need more than the amount that I've placed. Oh, what a pain. I thought we were a lot closer than this. It's gonna be a long way to travel. <laughs> there is uh, There is no doubt about that. And these things do take a quite a bit of power. That is something you want to watch out for if you're not really used to the power these things take. Um, already, they're the second highest in our list. Of course, part of it's because it's currently charging, but 
Also, while I'm at it, I suppose I could release these guys. So we should have some science built up, I think. Um, yeah, we do. So let's let's knock out this research. Only 200 of each, really not that bad. Uh, gonna yank, <laughs> yank all these red circuits off the belt. Yoink, all right. And then some steel as well. Jeez, these things though, I mean, these are actually pretty, pretty steel hungry, pretty, oh, whoa, no, 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 no. Not, not 45 gears by hand, are you nuts? Okay, I want to finish placing these and then it might actually be the end of the episode. It looks like we're apparently missing some stuff. Not really sure what I have ghosted in this area that thinks I'm missing over here somewhere. Well, that's going to get annoying. Oh, hey. They're here. Hey, it takes you there. Okay. Today I learned. Actually, I knew that. I'd just forgotten. But there you go. So if you click your alerts, they'll take you to it. It's uh, somewhere in the middle of the bus. Apparently there's some ghost things in there I'd left. Uh, research is actually going pretty quick. People have commented that I don't have near enough labs to consume two, two packs a second, um, which is true. Uh, but to be completely honest, I'm, there's no way I'm producing two packs a second at the moment anyways. Alright, do that. A few more of these and maybe we'll be lucky enough to cover it with one more. Oh yeah. Sweet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to replace a few of these guys with the uh, logistic chest. So we want a requester here. Um, so we can request barrels, and also, no, that's really about it. Thought there was something else. Uh, so he's going to request empty barrels, and we're going to need to request quite a few because they do have a ways to travel. So we're going to request 25 for now. Now, I mean, these things, I mean, it doesn't eat sulfuric acid super quick, uh, but we'll see if that's enough. Um, and then we also need, so we're going to say if there's less than... Let's just say like 50. Yeah. Now one thing we do have to consider that does become a problem is that when the robots pick up the things and they're flying with them, I believe that that takes them out of the network. It doesn't count them in the network, right? So when they're bringing 25 barrels over here, um, that deducts from the network amount, which is what I use to set my uh, limit on the barrels. So you kind of get extra barrels a little bit I mean once we get to a point so like it's gonna make 25 more potentially um, but then once you get to a point where uh, it, it doesn't drop below the amount you set it anyway even with the ones in the air then it's not really that big of an issue uh, Wow so that that was pretty quick we can have the fusion reactors uh, 250 oh my goodness did those always require 250 I'm pretty sure they used to only require a hundred that is painful. Oh my gosh. See how? What? Oh. It's like there's no way we're out of power. Okay, so he's going to request that. You're going to do... Oh, that's, that's, that's not... Oh, wrong. Um, you actually just don't even need a condition. You just dump them in there. Because he's going to request these things and I'm only going to do 10 because like these are super cheap Um, the batteries needs to be a bit of a higher request because they, they take more sulfuric acid so yeah I'm going to request because I don't think I actually I made a request so I don't think I actually requested stuff no I did um hmm okay it took a while for them to get the barrels over there uh, we should have a few more frames in here, so I'm going to grab those and make um, any robots that we can. And then I'm going to call this an episode. I'm probably over time. I know it wasn't super eventful, but it was a bit of a different one, which some variety is good. And uh, and yeah, next time we'll figure out what we need to do. Probably actually one of these episodes in the very near future, I do want to work on some rail stuff, some actual proper like multi-lane rail systems. I want to work on some designs for those. Now, of course... We do have Mojo's, um, but the thing is, his are left-hand drive, and I'm still not sure if I want to go left or right yet. If I want to go right, his won't work at all. Um, and even if I do go left-hand drive, his are kind of calibrated for a, a specific 
like set of sizes of trains that I'm not necessarily going to be using. And if I use a train that's not the size of calibrated for, um, there's some potential issues. So don't get me wrong. I mean, his blueprints are absolutely outstanding. Uh, but for the size of trains I'm wanting to use, his aren't really calibrated for that, I don't believe. So I may need to come up with my own, which should be interesting. That'll be kind of fun. Could do that for an episode or two designing those. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed, even though it wasn't maybe quite as eventful as the others. But we did get some stuff done. We at least got our first robo network set up. Woohoo! Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments, as always. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.